Hello YouTube, Infinite Magic Raid community, Gandalf here. It is the weekend, it's time to do summons. Unfortunately, as much as you see thousands of uh, saved up summons here, and almost 150 uh, Supremes, I'm going to disappoint you, as we're just going to go for one copy. Uh, for And it's not even a copy of Jingle Bell, it's just one. Um, one legendary hero to finish the quest. And hopefully I get something nice, right? Like, like I only have exclusive one Nazil, so it'll be really nice to get some copies of Nazil. All of these heroes are really good, so definitely not a not a banner that you you'll be wasting summons on. Jingle Bell has gotten a big patch uh, buff last week. I didn't actually do uh, the details on it, but basically to sum it up. Her basic attack is gonna, you know, trigger um, the Joyful Ensemble one more time. Uh, so the Summon Snowball was, you know, you have an extra Summon Snowball basically from the basic attack. Now, when she has her exclusive two up, um, she's now gonna have the Summon Snowballs do 30% of the damage to all the enemies other than the main target as well. So that's like. If you think about it, the enemy has five heroes. They each take a turn. They take damage on their own. But the entire everybody else on the on the team is taking like 30% extra. So that's like 150% extra falling snowball damage. So that's why we're seeing a lot more players with just like um, running something like with the likes of um, let me show one of their teams. Pretty sure. It's pretty common to see Jingle Bell on defense actually now. So Classic Arena, people are running with the likes of, um, well, yeah, this is this is a good example, but what we see is like, yeah, Klee and Laura Eric are both running it. And you see Jingle Bell showing up in defense. And basically what happens is after you get hit by, um, by Lydia, Jingle Bell is just going to drop snowballs at you until you die. And these summon snowballs are hitting way harder than before. And it's doing AOE kind of cleave your entire team down. So before, this wasn't as viable unless you had like Mega Kraken's, Kraken stats. Now it's a lot more viable. I see this on defense quite a bit. So Jingle Bell definitely has gotten her fair share of the buff. Um, She's definitely the strongest physical damage DPS um, by far now. Uh, it's kind of in the uncontested territory now. So yeah, definitely worth your summons. Um, I just happen to have E5 right now, so that's why there's no point for me to you know, get extra copies of her. Um, if I knew this was coming, I definitely would not have used my limited hero choice boxes on her. I would have actually did a big summoning session today. So, you know, if it's what it is right so let's get right into it again um oh yeah her last piece of her buff so she's now also immune to imprison before she wasn't so now like you can't even imprison her so like on teams where you're doing a boost from something like Rissler, um you know she's going to be immune to to lydia's imprison as well so so yeah, all around, uh, really strong bust for her, making her a very solid hero in PvP now. She before had a little bit of weakness. Um, now she is kind of in the uncontested territory, really strong, top tier, god tier, uh, whatever you want to name it. Um, and yeah, the rest of the heroes are also great too, right? Nazil is very staple. We still see a lot of use of Nazil. Uh, Mamook, um, at least right now in the rotation, you'll see Mamook. Like the only one maybe for early game players, uh, sorry, Mamook for for Endless Cloister, for for the Ifrit boss. Mamook, you, you probably seen Mamook featured quite a bit in my various PVE videos, really solid hero. Fritch, Fritch does kind of the same thing as Mamook, very similar. Similar function um, in the team. So. Again, if you're starting out, this is like a great banner to summon on. Uh, good PvP setup. Alec is the only one that's, you know, not as useful. But Alec is still strong in PvP. Like, he's still a viable hero. 
uh, to protect your main one of your main DPS away from any uh, any debuffs. So let's see what we get. I only need um, to get one copy of a legendary hero to finish the quest. And even if you have all this, right? Like I would still suggest always summoning to get the two skill scrolls. Uh, finish the summoning quest every weekend on the regular banner. Oh, and we also have Rudolph's return. Um, I didn't even notice that. All right. Okay, 23 more times. We'll do um, 30. And let's see what we got. And we get... Uh, Alicia. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Back to back. Well, we haven't seen one of these in a while. Um, super exciting. I did get a copy of Nizel that I wanted um, and a bonus Alicia on top of that. Um, yeah. Um, not exactly, you know, a very strong hero, but nonetheless, a hero that I don't have many copies of. So. Yeah, very happy with the summons. Let me know what you got uh, this weekend. Uh, if you're going for Jingle Bell, best of luck to you. And hopefully you have enough summons, um, you know, save up to get Guarantee Pity at 10th if you're really unfortunate to have to go that far. Um, but yeah, um, definitely a very good banner this weekend. Um, especially if you need Jingle Bell, definitely a good time to dump your summons on this weekend. All right, I'll catch you in another video. Gandalf out.